Lesson 8 starts on page 28 and it's about adding money. Now it's good to know about adding money and working with money because money is a very important part of your daily life. You need money to eat, to drive your car, to pay for your house, things like that. And the Bible talks about having two masters and it says you cannot serve both God and money. And the Bible says that because a lot of people end up trying to put all of their effort into making money and having lots of money. However, money cannot be your number one priority. God has to be your number one priority. And so it's good to understand money and be able to work with money so you can manage it properly. And that way you can keep track of how much money you have, how much money you can save, how much money you should give to your church or to mission organizations, and how much money you have to spend. Well, let's talk about adding money right now. And let's just learn this by doing some practice problems. Now remember the dollars, the fake dollar bills that we cut out for practicing with place value? Those will be very helpful here so hopefully you didn't throw those away and you can get those out and work with those while we do these problems. So why don't you pause your CD and get those out. And So what we want to do to add $32 and $45 is let's think of place value. Think of 32. We have a 3 in the tens place. So that would mean 3 tens. And I'm just going to put a 10 there. I won't put the dollar sign just to save some time. And then we have 2 ones. Now in 45, we have four tens, so let's put that over here with the other tens. And then we have five ones, so let's group those with the other ones. Okay, so now we just count up how many tens we have, and so that would tell us what to put in our tens place. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tens, and so we can put a seven here and then count up the ones one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven of those, and so we would have seventy-seven dollars. That's what thirty-two dollars plus forty-five dollars equals is seventy-seven dollars seven ones and seven tens. Let's do another one. Let's add twenty nine dollars and thirty dollars. So I'm not going to write out all the ten dollar bills this time. You can either use your dollar bills that you have or just do it in your head. So you think of how many tens you'd have. You have two tens in the twenty nine. You have three tens in the thirty and so that would be five tens and then you have nine ones in 29, you don't have any ones in 30, so 9 and 0, that would be 9. So $59 is the sum of 29 and $30. Let's do one more. Let's add $12 and $17. So both of those have one 10, right? And so that would make two $10 bills. And then we have two ones and seven ones, which would make nine ones. And so we end up with $29. Okay, well that's all for lesson 8.